Guys, my name is Ari here, and in this video, we're going to be having a look at Gala Games. The circling supply has been increasing at a drastic rate and a crazy, crazy rate. What the heck is happening exactly? And the big question that everyone has been asking me is, will Gala Games really go to $1 despite its extremely, extremely ultra high inflation circling supply. So we could see that Gala is sitting at two and a half cents right here. The market cap is sitting at $787 million. That is insane. Despite that the price has not moved so much. We could see right here that the price of Gala did peak at 0.037 or 3.7 cents. Okay, before we're I get into the whole crypto Gala game technical analysis and the whole token unlock that's about to be happening for the next 365 days, if you guys are interested in essentially trading with a smooth exchange that won't liquidate your asset every three seconds, you could go ahead and do with Fairdesk right here. You guys can see that I'm up 2,800 and $48 on this uh, on this crypto right here, OPUSDT. I am currently up. You could also click on my Telegram link. I put all my trades down there, but this exchange is very, very fresh. It's very new. It's smooth. And of course, to get $100,000 worth of bonuses. And if you sign up with my link as well, you could get a VIP level three. So having a look at Gala right now, real quick, you could see that there is an upcoming event on the 21st of July, 2024. Now that, that that's of course very far away. That's in 200 days. But there will be a $55,000 a day unlock. Now, of course, depending on if Gala goes up or goes down, that's a lot of money. Now, a lot of people might say it's not a lot of money, but it's a pretty good amount of money. Now, having a look at Gala games right here, what is going on with the circling supply? Now, I have been looking all over the web and a lot of people have been saying that this is not an accurate circling supply. Now, if you have a look at token unlocked, we could see that the token unlocked right now is sitting at 11 or 10 billion tokens. So is the circling supply really supposed to be 10 billion? Now, assuming that the circling supply is sitting at 31 billion, which is most likely the accurate circling supply. If we have a look at the market cap right here, we know that the all time high market cap was sitting at 5 billion dollars that's the all-time high market cap if we have a look at price we could see that the all-time price was sitting at 71 cents that is crazy okay so in order for gala to pretty much go to 71 cents the market cap would have to be insanely insanely high because if we do 71 times 31 you could see that this will give you a market cap of 22 billion dollars so 5 billion 22 billion dollars i mean you're gonna have to 4x all-time high so for people who got into the all-time high they were they would have to 4x their return in order to break even that is insane just to break even you're gonna have to 4x your all-time high now yes in terms of price you might you might break even that's completely okay but you would still have to 4x in terms of market cap because you got in at a five billion dollar market cap okay you don't really want to look at the price you want to look at the market cap now, of course, Gala Games is definitely a massive, massive crypto. It's not Gala Games anymore. They have Gala movies, they have Gala entertainment, they have Gala uh, some music. There's a bunch of things that's around Gala. Now, Gala, obviously, it's very, very, very bullish crypto, okay? They have a lot of games that are making people want to play. They have a partnership with PokerGo, which is one of the biggest PokerGo tournament in uh, Las Vegas. They have, of, of course, Spider Tanks, uh, Spider Tanks right here. So there are, these games are making people want to play um, these games. Okay, so they're not making games and, you know, just a, P a play to earn games and people are just going to be like, oh, I want to make quick money and dip. No, these games are actually great games. You guys should definitely try out for yourself. But the circling supply obviously has been skyrocketing through the roof and it is a call for concern because things have been uh, just crazy. If we have a look right here at the weekly time frame, we could see that Gala is in a nice little pullback and I would say a healthy pullback. Okay. Now, by the way, guys, I did stop accumulating Gala. I'm not saying I'm a Gala hater, but I did stop accumulating Gala. I bought a shit ton of Gala throughout this bear market and I pretty much stopped accumulating because I just didn't like their tokenomics and I think they have absolute shit tokenomics. But of course, um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to sell my Galas whatsoever because you never know. We saw what happened with Solana. Solana circling supply literally skyrocketed in the middle of the, of the last bull market. And of course, Solana still manages to make crazy, crazy returns. So of course, that's why I'm not doing anything. But we could see right here that... Um, 
um, the stochastic RSI were pretty much oversold on uh, on Gala Games right here. You guys can see that we peaked above the 75 or 80 region. We know every time we are above 80, investors will be looking to sell. Right now, we were pretty much oversold right here or overbought, I should say. But we still can continue to pump, which caused a hidden bearish divergence. And guess what happened? We saw that nice little pullback that a lot of people were essentially waiting for. So that's what's happening right now on the weekly time frame. On the four hour time frame, things are looking pretty, pretty juicy, in my opinion. Um, it seems like we are flipping to, towards the upside. But of course, that's because Bitcoin has been making that pump right here we are still in a downtrend since january 2nd 2024 so since the beginning of the of new year we've entered this nice little downtrend right here um, a lot of people would call this a a downwards channel right here which essentially is bullish so if we have a breakout above this channel right here this would be a clear confirmation for more upwards movement we could see a stochastic rsi are also looking bullish but we're gonna have to see what happens right here um having a look at bitcoin we know bitcoin's king bitcoin's a leader guys that's why i'm gonna make a quick analysis on bitcoin we could see that bitcoin did have massive massive fake outs right here okay so you could see that bitcoin uh this was the fud on the bitcoin etfs how they were gonna get rejected then we had a, another one not another fud but another call where ETFs were going to get accepted as early as this week. And of course, right now, we just saw that a bunch of crypto ETFs were filed for S1 and are waiting for the SEC approval. So Bitcoin is in a nice little ascending triangle. Now, the big question is, will we actually see that breakout on Bitcoin and will we actually meet our target and will Gala essentially pump with Bitcoin? So we could see right here that our target is supposed to be under $50,000 for Bitcoin if we manage to have a massive, massive breakout. Now, this was already the first fake out right here if this is a second fake out this would be very 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 disappointing but we're gonna have to see obviously what happens in the near future so that is my video guys overall on gala games gala i think it is here to stay but i don't like their tokenomics at all whatsoever if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to educate me on their tokenomics feel free to do so i would really really like to understand more about it just because i'm a youtuber does not mean i'm perfect whatsoever if you guys like this video though don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like